we have it easy here because in other schools, it's like the classes aren't necessary for college, so technically we're wasting time. But like in this school, it actually benefits us because um, all of the classes that we're taking in some way are going to help us for college, and it's not like we're wasting our time taking um, classes that we don't need because all of the classes that we're taking here, we actually need them. Instead of requiring students to do just three years of math to um, get into college, but um, STEM maths actually require more than that. They require students to have four years of math in order to graduate. So our graduation requirements is actually higher than um, college application requirements. Students here are competitive, so it makes you like, okay, I want to go to this college because this person wants to go there. But then again, um, it tells you what, they bring in college first here and it kind of helps you where you want to go to college and they like provide you with resources. Stern Mass is prepared me um, for college by giving me um, work in a, in a college level, um, especially Mr. Hausman. The way he teaches us, he teaches us as in um, like lectures and stuff like that. And he teaches us like a professor would in, um, in college. Um, some teachers actually teach in a college style, meaning a lot of the instruction is based on either lectures and the students need to take notes because oftentimes that is what college is like. The professor will stand in the front and lecture for the two hours and you have to be able to take notes and um, be attentive. We give them a lot of opportunity to improve and develop the skills that they need to have and I think that our school is pretty rigorous, means that we push students a lot, I hope. I know that my classes I do and other teachers do as well. So I think that just like college, we want to make sure that students have the skills that are, are refined enough to go ahead and, and do well, and also that they're used to being able to do hard work and be successful at it, I think. Um, thinking about finals right now, I think that finals, the way we do it here, there's a lot of finals and there are hard, and I think that's just like what happens in college. I think actually were harder during the finals period than actually college finals are. So. I have seen and been part of professional development on Friday mornings and I could see that our teachers are constantly looking for better ways to improve their teachings and make sure that our, uh, our students, our STEM students are well prepared when they go into their higher education. CERN Mass has been preparing um, each and every one of these students for life by staying organized, by um, uh, growing smarter, not only by yourself, but with other students. We have high expectations for students, and in the workforce and in life, people are going to have high expectations of students as well. Um, I think we need a lot of real world, world connections for the subjects that we teach. I think for me it's a lot easier to say because I'm a science teacher and we do kind of teach real world connection from the start. But um, I think one of the things I came across was a student asked me, when a student asked me, okay, why are we learning signs and cosines in math? And I told them, well, you learn these things because you're going to use signs and cosine to calculate frequency and wavelength and other, other things when you get to physics. So we do need to kind of show them the things they're learning and the reason they're learning for. So I think our honor, um, the honor code speaks volume. If you follow the five pillars of the honor code, I think you would be very successful. The honor code teaches you to be responsible and that's gonna help you a lot in life because like when you wanna get a job, that's what like the employers are gonna look for, so you can be responsible. I think one, we try to make sure that they are coming to us and standing up for what they believe is right. I, I always encourage my students to do that, to make sure if they see something wrong or they see me doing something wrong or I'm not doing something that's helping them, that they let me know. And I think that's something that if you can learn that, you'll be a really strong and powerful person in life and I think that we do a good job of helping students do that.